multiply decimals. Now with multiplying decimals, we're not going to worry about lining up the decimal points like we did when we were adding and subtracting. Um, so it's, we're going to treat it a bit differently and after we do this problem out, I'll tell you what we do with the decimal. So the first thing you want to do is just ignore the decimal and do out the multiplication. So if I have 3.5 times 2, I'm going to do, well, 2 times 5 is 10, carry the 1, 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7, so I have 70. Now what I'm going to do for the decimal is I'm going to count how many decimal places are in the multiplying numbers. So here's one decimal place right there, the 0.5, and that's it. So I'm going to make sure my answer has one decimal place also and put the decimal point wherever it has to be to make that happen. So the answer is 7.0 or 7. And another way you could look at this is you could just say 35 times 2 is 70. Make sure you have one decimal place, one decimal place, and that turns it into 7. So the next one we have 0 0.04 times 0 0.03. Using that same idea, I'm going to ignore the decimal points, and basically what I have is 4 times 3. 4 times 3 is 12, so I put 12, and then I count up the decimal places that are in the multiplying numbers, which is two places here and two places here, so I need four decimal places in my final answer. Here are two, two in the one, but I need to add two more because I need four decimal places to equal the four decimal places that were being multiplied. And I make that happen by putting a decimal point right there, adding the zeros as placeholders. So my final answer for this one is 0 0.0012. And the last one we've got 8.31 times 4.2. So again, I'm going to ignore the decimal points and notice that they're not lined up like they would be adding and subtracting. We're just going to ignore them and then we'll make sure the final answer has one, two, three decimal places in it. So we start with the two. Two times one is two. Two times three is six. Two times eight is sixteen. Put a zero. Four times one is four. Four times three is twelve. So I put the two, carry the one. 4 times 8 is 32, add 133. I add these up and I get 2, 10, 6 plus 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9, 3 and 1 is 4, and 3. So I have 3, 4, 9, 0, 2, and I have to make sure the answer has 1, 2, 3 decimal places, 1, 2, 3 decimal places, so I put the point right there after the 4. So my answer here is 34.902.